is Coach Karan Godwin. I want to introduce to you the new Ball Hog Gloves X Factor. It takes away your grip, so the ball slips out of your hands. You really got to be able to control the ball. I like them a lot. You know, I think the added weight really helps. And I feel like this right here is going to make a big difference. For more drills, follow at Coach Godwin and go to ballhoggloves.com. Gordon averaging 11 and 5 a game. Dame gets in deep and leaves it up. And then Nurkic taking up a lot of space. Yeah. And Dame able to play off that. Keeps it alive to Dame. And the bump ahead for the hammer. Playmaker at the top of the key is Plumley. Well, the truth is, we really don't know. He hasn't been put in those situations as Damian Lillard knocks it down. So he might have the same. And I think we all picked Crab tonight. Picked the clip for the most points off the bench. Damian, head down, shoulder leaning. Drives to the cup on the smaller DJ Augustine and laid it up and in, and so Lillard will go to the line. Well, if you remember, that's why I picked Crab because of what Lillard and McCullum both did to the Magic in the first game this season. Just torched him. Game outside, fills from three. Damian Lillard with a long cast to pull. The Blazers to within six. He does Magic riddled him the last time, 10 of 18 from three in the first meeting of the year. Dame glides into the paint to lay it lefty. 12-point lead for the Magic. 6.39 to go third quarter. Jay out there. He is now on the bench. As Crab steps in, and then Dame goes to work, cutting into a crease to lay it home. Oh, and look at the face afterwards. That's the Dame time face. Three minutes to go, third quarter. Damien, inside out dribble, going lefty. It springs to the glass to lay it in. He's looked explosive his last. Lillard from way downtown in the panhandle. He knocks it down from three. Okay. Line, double clutches and got hammered. Chest pass to Napier for three. Yes. Napier in transition from Lillard. But he can easily raise the ball. Damn, dude. We had difficulty oh, off the chart. <laughs> <laughs> he went, went into the lane. It looked like he he just he didn't have any room. I thought he was I thought he was out of options, and somehow snakes went up and in. Green the other way. Got banged in the air by Harkless. CJ in the corner. Dame a quick look at three. Got it. He puts the Blazers into the lead with a transition three. The Blazers last lead 21-20. Presses out. Nurkic solid screen. Dame steps through with a left hand. Laid it up and in off the window. Kev, I don't know what it is, but the explosion looks like it's back. Lillard with 28. Pete the other way. And it was Napier who bumped him outside. The hesitation to please. Dame off the screen, feeling it, flying it, and hitting the three-pointer. And now he's chattering away. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, somebody got him riled up. I don't know. I don't know who from the Magic been messing with him. Lillard, 33 points, and a terrific effort in the fourth period of play to lead his ball club. Dame, the Magic up 14 at one point, seemingly had the momentum the majority of the game. How did you keep it close and find a way to win tonight? I mean, it's a it's a 48 minute game. Uh, you know, we had a lot of turnovers in the first half, and they scored off of it. They took advantage of it. On the road, when you do that, that's what happens. You know, teams build leads. Uh, we stuck with it. Uh, I was in a little bit of foul trouble in the first half, but at halftime, our coaches told us we got to be overly aggressive. And I think we did that in the second half, and it got us a win. The word we continued to describe your fourth quarter was explosion. How would you describe your mindset down the stretch? I mean, I knew I had to come out here and be a finisher. Um, you know, over the last few weeks, um, I haven't been able to get it going. You know, I've been thinking about it a lot, uh, being real hard on myself, but now my team needs me. And, you know, it's time for us to make a push, and it's time for us to man up and get tougher. And I know I got to lead that charge, and that's all that was on my mind. In a timeout in the third quarter, Coach Stott's a little frustrated. He challenged you guys to stay engaged. Was that a message you needed to hear because you wanted an AO run right after? Yeah, I mean, I think that was what we were all thinking. Uh, but coming from the top, coming from Coach Stotts, I think it, it really hit home when he said it. Um, you know, he addressed it. Uh, we took the challenge, but I think our MVP of the game was Shabazz Napier. I mean, he came out, and he's a, he's a tough MFer, man. And he completely changed the game. Uh, he brought something out there that, you know, that got us in a winning mentality, and we got a win, you know, largely in part because of him. Would you say that he almost inspired the rest of you guys tonight? He did. Um, you know, in the huddle before he got in the game, he was, you know, showing frustration and showing passion about what was going on because he's a, he's a winner. He wants to win. And when he got on the court, he showed that. He impacted the game, and uh, he for damn sure impacted me um, and woke me up. So uh, I, I think he was the MVP of our game tonight. Would you say this entire team is woke right now? We definitely are. 
we know what time of the year it is, and you know we got to step up. And right now, it's, it's all or nothing, and we got to go all in. Nice job tonight. Thank you.